It's a long day, but how does it feel to end this thing uh, the way you didn't get that monkey off your back? Well, you we needed a win in the worst way. That's, that's pretty obvious. And, um, and our, you know, our guys had a great energy all day. It was a tough first game. It's a quick turnaround 40 minutes afterwards. And um, some guys came out playing. And, and, and it was nice to see some first. I mean, Kerry Carpenter, obviously, with the first homer. And um, Scopey got into the fun. And, and Victor had some, some good at-bats. Willie had some good at-bats. Um, a lot of contribution offensively when you put up those kind of hits. and um, So, yeah, the second game was a breath of fresh air. The home run was one thing, but Kerry had a multi-hit game here today, and he talked mm-hmm. about it's good to be hitting the ball again. What have you seen different as far as his yeah, approaches I mean, I, go? I, we joked with him that helps. You know, you have a lot more better chance of getting hits if you if you make contact. But um, So he's settling in. I think that's, you know, he needs, you know, he needs a little bit of success to feel like a big leaguer. Today will be a good step towards that. Um, he got the traditional uh, welcome back into the clubhouse after his first homer. So I... You know, it's it's nice that he contributed in a win. Um, obviously, we see the bat. You know, when he's when he's timed up, and um, he'll continue to learn. That's a big story tonight. But then Brian Garcia is a big story too, with what he was able to do. How was he able to do that tonight? Yeah, well, his, his started with you know throwing better strikes as the game went on. He he sprayed the ball early, which can be effective for him, um, and 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 was able to move the ball around a little bit. And then his finish on his fastball at the end was really good. So I. Um, I love sending him out there for the sixth inning. It's a little bit of uncharted territory for him, but the way the pitching was lined up and, um, you know, we had some guys that were even down for a doubleheader, which is is not easy to navigate two games <clears throat> with guys being down. But uh, Brian knew going into the game we needed his pitches and we wanted it to be quality. Um, I think when our team bounced back after, after the three-run inning, um, it was nice to see Brian respond with a couple good innings. The dugout looked especially thrilled for Tucker to break out yeah. like he did and get those three hits. I feel like everybody's been kind of struggling along with him, wanting him to do better, yeah? Well, he's, he's very likable. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's awful to watch guys go through, um, quite honestly, what a lot of our guys are going through. But So when you have a good night and, and somebody can see a smile, Tucker hasn't smiled in a while. He, you know, he hasn't felt great about his production. You know, and, I, and as we, we talked about on the bench, like you can never lose your competitive spirit. Like you... You got to keep that edge, and he played the game well. We tried to put the bunt down for him, um, you know, instead of um, conceding the at bat. He, he misses the first two bunts, and then um, and then and then rolls a base hit through there. So, obviously, guys need to contribute to feel good about themselves. It has not been a good stretch, uh, let alone a good season. So, I think our guys are, are open to celebrating the successes. I know Kerry's just getting up here, but what have you noticed about him through four games so far and just being around him in his presence? And yeah, he's pretty even keeled. Um, you know, obviously, he's he's learning and growing. He's I mean, even playing, um, you know, in the outfield for the first time. I, I was really glad that his first um, his first fly ball was a little bit of a layup. You know, it was nice to just get him back in the groove of being a baseball player again. He wasn't sitting over on the bench stewing about his at-bats. But, um, you know, he's got a great presence about him. He's learning. He's kept his mouth quiet. Um, and just, and just, I think he's, um, you know, he's seeing what the big leagues are all about. How impressive was Cody Clements' catch navigating the tarp there? Yeah, that one or the diving catch down the line on the ground ball or the double play when Rosario hit it with the game on the line. So Cody had a nice game defensively. And, and um, for a guy who, you know, I know he got to play yesterday in Chicago, but rarely gets to play. Um, you know, again, all you want to do is contribute, and he did that on the defensive end.